In this video, we walk to a creepy old Soviet tunnel in the center of Yerevan. Martin! We get offered deadly strong homemade vodka in a local taxi. Vodka. Yes? Yes. You have here? And we meet the wonderful Lena from Iran in the Blue Mosque. Your brain work and beats my So enjoy your view. Welcome to Armenia. Welcome to Yerevan. Wow, look at this. So shady, this tunnel. And we have this Soviet building. Some kind of... Soviet artwork. Let's go inside this shady tunnel. Ooh, it's so long. I don't know if you guys can see the end. It's gonna be uh, some walk to the other side. We're still in the sun. Very hot. And here, whew, immediately cooling down. That's quite dirty here. We have some painting some uh, street art here this is an old soviet tunnel and it brings you from the, the center of yerevan to one of the outskirts and above here it's all uh, buildings and streets so it really is like a shortcut i don't know if i would walk here at night maybe i would it's yerevan i think it's quite safe to walk here oh, it's getting really dark now like this part has no lights. There are just some lights there. But here the lights are off. Oh, it's so refreshing. There's like a little breeze as well. Like the wind is going from one side to another. Do you think we can yell here? There's a lot of resonation. Is, is that how you say it? Martin! <laughs> That's awesome. It's very hard to judge how long the tunnel is because you can see the end. But I think it's further than we think it is. I was thinking I would be in the middle, but no, look. No. That part is much closer than the other side. But we're going there, we're getting there, guys. A few more minutes in the shady tunnel of Yerevan. It's completely empty. Just have my friend Ines there. And this side, no one. And still I feel safe. No one could help me here. It would take a few minutes to get out in case of an emergency. I wonder if people really use this tunnel or they prefer to, to walk around for, for safety. And also it's a bit dirty, but it doesn't smell. Well, we're getting in uh, another very dark part here. I don't know if you can still see me. Almost at the end of the tunnel. And I have no idea what is there, what we will see there. It doesn't look like the city anymore. It looks more like nature, streets and nature. And you can see it very far. I've been walking for at least five minutes at a quite fast pace. We're really at the end now. Let's have a look what is there. We have a little fence here. So maybe at some point the cars were allowed to drive in here. But now it's just for pedestrians. Let's see what's here at the other end of the tunnel. So one side is the center of Yerevan. And on the other side we have this. Look at all the houses on the rocks there. And here we have a hill, a stone hill. Someone getting dropped off here. And maybe this person will then take the shortcut to the center of Yerevan. There he goes. Off on his five or maybe even ten minute walk to the center of Yerevan. And more people are coming. I think these are locals who really use this tunnel. While my friend Ines is exiting from the tunnel, you can see the structure. It's really caved out of the rock. The tunnel is going under the hill here. How was it? It was very good. Was uh, it scary? Well, because you kind of dumped me and left me to die there a little bit, but it was okay. How long was the walk? Five minutes. All right, guys. We continue exploring Yerevan and we're going to the genocide memorial complex 
just waiting for our Yandex taxi to pick us up here. That's the one zero zero five. Привет. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Yeah. Italian. No, Armenia. You say buongiorno. Buongiorno, привет, здравствуйте. Здравствуй. Hello. Hello, hello. Bonjour. Hello. And in Armenian? Yes. How? In ah. Armenian? Me? Hello in Armenian. Yeah, hello. Oh, just English. hello. Armenian Barev. Barev. Russia Privet. Yeah. French Bonjour. Well, you know many languages. Europa all hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. How are you? All? You from Yerevan? Yes. How is life here? Very good. Very good? Going like Sevan. No hot. Very good. Oh, there is good. To eat in Armenia. Good food. Very good food. Tell me, what, what should all, I try? All, all restaurant, very good. What is your favorite dish? A little speak English. Yes. No uh, good. What food you eat, you like? All. All food. All. Barbecue. Shashlik. Shashlik. You drink? Yes. Vodka. Yes. Yes. You have here? Is Armenian, Please. I can Please. try? Please. Oh. Up. <laughs> Up. Okay, guys. Some uh, Armenian vodka. Oh. oh, it's so strong. Oh, this is uh, stronger than vodka. It's burning in my throat. It's very strong. 75 volume. You make the vodka at home? 75%. It's the strongest vodka I have had in my life up no problem no problem finish finish all problem in vodka up hero 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 champion champion yes Spasibo. how do you say uh, cheers nazdarovia nazdarovia anush in armenian anush yeah. Hey, to my little pop. <laughs> Motherfucker, let's get rich and real, kick it all eyes on me. Little life is a oh. Till the day I die, little life is a boss play. All oh. eyes on me. Spasiba. Thank you, my friend. You. Have Bye. a nice life. Bye. What a taxi ride. All right, guys, we're here at the genocide monument dedicated to all the victims of the, the genocide on the Armenian people. And it's like quite high up the mountain here. We have a beautiful view. There's a lot of fog, but there is Mount Ararat, which is like a national symbol of Armenia. But strangely, it's actually in Turkey. So if you see the mountain there, that's already Turkey. So the border is somewhere in between. You can see some sports fields here. Here is even like the main, the main football stadium of Yerevan. There is a very big shopping complex there. And here we have the view over the city. It's really a nice view and you can see it's very hilly here. Yerevan is really built in the hills. As we walk up to the monument here, it's quite impressive. We have like two parts. We have this longer needle and we have the structure there. Let's have a look what's down. Maybe there's some kind of flame, like an eternal flame. Or maybe there are some names of people, some pictures, because there's so many, probably that's not possible. But let's have a look down there. Okay, we're walking down here now and it's, as I said, there is an eternal flame. Let's be quiet here and have a look at the flowers and the music. It is quite impressive with the fire, the flowers, the music. And up here we have the view over the city. He's cleaning his car here on the side of the road. And here we have the national stadium. Wow, look at this building. It's so beautiful. I think it's a, it's a mosque. The central blue mosque of Yerevan. Can we go inside? It's allowed? Yeah. Okay, cool. Wow. We can go in here. 
and there is some kind of central square so we're not going straight into the mosque it looks like a mosque entrance though look at the colors and the patterns and there's a beautiful garden around and we have Ines hello sir can we go here? there is some kind of shop here hello Armenia, Iran are you from Iran? Uh, no, I'm not. This is a Shiite mosque? Yeah. Shiite? Okay. Muslims in Armenia are mainly Shiite? No, we don't have any Muslims in Armenia. Oh, you don't? Iranian people come here. Oh, so it's mainly Iranian people coming to the mosque here? That's right. But you are uh, Armenian? I'm not Armenian and I'm not Iranian. Oh, where are you from? I'm from Turkmenistan. Turkmenistan? Italy. Are you a Muslim? Not cheap. But you still go in this mosque? Uh, yeah, that's not a great difference between yeah. Shiite and Sunni. We are all Muslim. We're all the same. And, and, uh, yeah, even uh, Muslim, non Muslim, right? We're all people. Cool. What's your name? Ipek. 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 It Ma means silk. Silk. Oh, yeah. silk route. Okay. Nice to meet you, Ipek. Nice to Martin. Meet you. Thank you. Martin, nice to meet you. Where Have, are you from? Belgium. Oh, nice to meet you. Have you been there? No, I've never been there, but. Uh, Visit. You're very welcome. Thank you. I'll have a look around. Wow. It's so nicely arranged as well. I thought I was entering the mosque, but it's a, it's a shop. The entrance must be somewhere on the other side of the park. Let's walk through wow. the park and I think the entrance is here on the other side. Oh, wow. Oh, look at the dome. The blue, it's almost merging with the blue of the sky. This is so beautiful guys, this is one of the most beautiful mosques I have seen. And so this mosque is connected to Iran and the Shia Muslims. It's stunning. Let's have a look inside here. They put these chairs here so we cannot enter. But they do open the, the doors. So at least we can have a look inside. It's not so big actually. It's quite small mosque. I'm from Belgium. Belgium, you are welcome. You're Armenian? And I'm Armenian from Iran. Oh. I am having here the excursion for the guests. Okay. And I'm a teacher myself. I You're teach a teacher? Russian to all Persian students. But okay. you speak many As languages then? How yes. many languages do you speak? I speak English, Deutsch, Sie sprechen auch Deutsch. Ein bisschen, ja. And I speak Farsi. Farsi is the most beautiful language. Yes. I'm Armenian, so I, I know Armenian. Armenian. Russian? Russian, yes. I am a teacher, a specialist. Yeah, so many languages. Wow. What is your name? Lena. Lena, beautiful name. Hello, sir. Hello, hello. hello. You just have a quick look, okay? Of course. Thank you so much, Lena. As you wish. As you wish. Do we need to take the shoes off? I am very old, my dear. 18, my dear. Iran was a great imperium, and Armenia, Georgia, Tajikistan, and Turkmenistan belong to Iran. The Muslims got up against mm. the king. The king had to run away, and uh, it happened that it is now called Islamic Republic. Yes. But in the ancient days, it was called Persia. And people lived uh, in Armenia with Persian people in peace and friendship. But another war began between Russia and Iran. Russia took back all these countries. I am a Christian myself, as all the Armenians. This is only my work. Iran is completely a Shia country. Mm -hmm. Those who are in Europe, Arabic countries, they are all Sunnis. The first difference is the number of the prophets. In Shia, they have 12 prophets. Among them is written the name of Ali, who is the leader. But for the uh, Sunni people, Muhammad is leader, and uh, they have six main prophets. Shia people pray with these kinds of stones. Oh, wow. These stones are called... Uh, are, uh, Can I take one? Yes. They are uh, holy stones, because uh, the uh, leader of Shia people, Ali, was killed in this land, in Mecca. So it is considered to be a holy stone. 
So I cannot show you. They knee and they put their forehead on the stone, looking that way. That is the way to Mecca. But Sunni people don't even see this. They are very surprised when I tell them. I wish you the best day. Thank you so Thank much, Nina. I am very thankful that Thank you, you attentively listened to me. If you can, you will leave me something. Yes, I will. You will sit there. I will leave you something on the way out. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much, Nina. I will help you here. Sorry, sorry. No, it's okay. Uh, we are here this, to help each other. This is a problem. This is a problem. When your brain work and feet not. Don't, yeah, not the same. So enjoy your youth. Thank, thank you, Lena. You. No, no, thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you. Too. Thank you. Have a nice day. All right, what do we have here? A pomegranate, nur house juice. Wow, delicious pomegranate. Oh, here it is. Hello. Can I get some juice? I'm gonna juice, please. One. Uh, two, actually. Two? Yes. Two, please. Three or small. Two small, please. What is the price? Eight thousand. Eight thousand. Four thousand for one, eight thousand for two. Wow. I love pomegranate juice. It's the best. Here we can make our own pomegranate juice. Adding the pomegranate. Squeezing the juice out of it. Wow. Nice. Thank you. Look at that. You get strong from it? You yes. get muscles from it. All day. It's only pomegranate here? Only pomegranate juice? Or you also have other juice? It's only. Only pomegranate? Yes. yes. Spasiba, thank you. Spasima, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. Finally, I found some pomegranate juice. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Privet. Wow. Drinking a delicious juice with the babushka next to me. So fresh. Freshly squeezed. Nice and cold. It was an awesome day here in Yerevan, in Armenia. So many cool and crazy things that happened. I absolutely love it here. The people are super friendly and I love just walking in this city. If you liked the video, please share it, like it, subscribe of course. If you have any questions, write them in the comment and I will try to answer all of your questions. I see you guys for the next video from here in Armenia, probably still from Yerevan. Bye.